The H's, we've got uh, we've got a lot of talent there. Um, obviously, we lost a pretty spectacular player off our team last year in Adam Schiltz, but uh, you know Josh Clumpy's a, a guy who's been around for a long time and uh, he knows exactly what he's supposed to do. Um, he gets lined up, you know, he runs the right play. He, he goes hard all the time, and, and he's had a good camp so far. You know, it's only been two days, but he's done a nice job. And and Reese Richards is another guy, a young kid that we're going to count on a little bit, and he's shown some good flashes uh, in the first two days. It's very important because Clumpy's always been a guy who's worked hard, uh, known known what he's supposed to do, done his assignments correctly, and he's a guy that we can depend on. He knows what we expect from that position and, and from our football players in general, and he's a guy we can depend on. It's been very exciting, you know, the, uh, w with our success last year, you know, there's a lot of people who want to be involved with ESU football, and, and that excites us. You know, we, we, uh, we do this to, uh, you know, win games and make sure these guys are going to be uh, good, you know, good members of society and graduate and all that stuff, but it's exciting. We got a lot of support from the fans. Yeah, you know, there might be some times when, when we go to four wide receiver sets and, and not have a tight end on the field, but there might be... Me times when those two guys are on the field at the same time. Uh, it just kind of depends on what uh, game time situation, game plan situation. And, and, you know, like I said, those guys can do a lot of the same things that Schiltz did. They just have to uh, continue to work at it and, and make sure that they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do all the time. And, and if they do that, they're going to have a lot of success. Well, I mean, he's a very big influence. I mean, obviously, he's getting to play some now in the NFL. And so, I mean, basically, everything he did, I can learn from. And he's making it work right now and I'm I got big shoes to fill obviously but uh I think I can get it done so I mean it boosted my confidence a lot um just getting out there and you know the MIAA is a good conference and a lot of speed and stuff in there it's a lot bigger than high school ball and stuff so I mean it's really gained a lot of confidence and lets me know that I can do it so I think at that position I mean we still have a lot of depth and we've had some guys who got a lot of reps last year uh, which we re really didn't have that after Derwin. Um, so having Jordan Tice getting a lot of reps last year, Trent Davis got some reps, you know, and then Dozy also got a lot of reps. So we still have three guys who came back from last year's squad um, that are going to be more experienced than they were last year. It's going to help help me out a great deal. Um, it makes it better for them. They know how to read the defenses and they know what our offensive linemen are doing a little bit better. So it makes the game slow down for them, and I think it'll make them more effective backs this year. I think I've seen the most in meetings, just how far ahead they are as far as, as that stuff goes and knowing what we're doing, like I said, up front and knowing where they're supposed to be, you know, knowing what steps they're supposed to take, stuff like that. Um, so that makes everything else kind of come together. So just it's getting the reps and it's being in the system and all those guys were here in the spring as well. Uh, so that helps them out a great deal. So it's just more experience. I mean, it plays into it and it makes my job a lot easier. They kind of coach themselves out on the field so we can just do everything things and, and it makes the operations of everything go a lot better. Uh, it's awesome. I mean, it's night and day from when I played here. Um, and I played with a lot of great guys. I mean, that's not to take anything away from that, but um, just to see the success they had last year and have, I mean, the, the only 10 win season outside of uh, 1989 when Coach Higgins was a player here uh, has been really cool. And seeing the community and seeing the school come behind us and, you know, seeing Welch Stadium on Saturdays when there's actually you know, a good amount of people in the stands and, and it's people that are excited about the program and they ask you about it when you're wearing Emporia State football gear. Um, so that's been really cool for me and then just seeing how it affects our players and how excited they are about our program and what, what we did last year um, but what we still have to do this year. I think a lot of teams have really gone, gone to the running back by committee. Now you'll see cases like Missouri Western had last year where they'll just have a guy who's just so talented that he can carry the load himself. Um, but I think it it's great for us because it's kind of a leg saver for these guys. Um, I mean, they don't get as tired in practice, and then when it comes down to the games, they're not carrying the ball 30 times a game. So you can be fresh when you go out there and you get your number called. You know exactly what you're expected to do. Um, it also gives us a different change of pace with the guys that we have at that position. So, you know, Jordan Tice is going to be downhill. Dozy's a lot more of our speed guy, although, you know, he can still run between the tackles and Jordan can get out and run a little bit. But it's just different styles uh, that they all have, and we try to play off that as much as we can and put them in for different series of plays and stuff like that. And I think it's, it's worked out really well for us. You know, losing Derwin, he was a big help to us last year, just getting that rotation in. But getting more experience under my belt, I'll definitely definitely feel more comfortable out there on the field come September 5th. Yeah, I feel like the inexperience that we have at quarterback is going to be our biggest question. But I have confidence in all three guys that are battling for the position right now in camp. So filling X shoes is going to be hard, but I think they're going to be capable of doing it. They just need the experience. I mean, 
right now at camp, everybody's just having fun. They're coming out and enthused, like at practice and everything. So I think just the enthusiasm and the closeness that we have together, we can joke around with everybody. Like there's not really just like one group that just sticks with one group. Everybody's joking around with everybody. So we're a pretty like close team, family, family feel like in the locker room. We're losing Cam and Lance, so those are two great guys to run behind, but we got bigger guys coming in, so we just got to get some experience under their belt too. We're just going to be inexperienced, but we're still talented, so we need to prove our talent and gain some experience while we do that. Uh, I mean, I kind of do whatever I need to do. I try to be whatever I need to be, so let's, we'll see this season. Uh, well, <clears throat> me and Tice, um we're we're gonna be competing against each other all like throughout the year. I mean, last year uh, when uh, D Hall was here, I kind of I kind of filled in and took his role. But I mean, uh, it's gonna be a one-two punch. I mean, throughout pretty much every game, we're two veterans. We're both experienced. Um, he's been in the system, this system, a little longer than I have. But I mean, um, I'm learning from him. He's learning from me, and it's just gonna be that way. Well, well, we lo we lost a good quarterback. We all know that. But I mean, we did acquire some pretty good linemen. Uh, we were a lot bigger and physical, more physical up front now. And uh, we do have some returners, and um, I mean, it's just we lost we lost something good, but we we acquired something great too. So I mean, it kind of makes up for it in a way. But well, uh, I, I came from California, and uh, I didn't really know what I was gonna be expecting when I came out here. I mean, if you said that we were gonna go ten and two and do all the things that we did when I first came out here, I probably wouldn't have believed that. But I mean, we did a lot we did a lot of great things last year, and uh, I think we were all all surprised. Emporia hasn't done that well in football. Uh, in, a, in a long time, I mean, or that's the word at least. So, I mean, we're all surprised, and I mean, we just have like greater expectations this year because I mean, no one wants to set get have like be set back anymore. You know what I'm saying? We went in ten and two, and all we can do from here on is improve and get. Well, I mean, if I told you that I didn't want the ball every play, I'd be a liar. You know what I'm saying? Every, every running back wants to be the guy. You know, so I mean, our offense is set up. We're we pass the ball a lot, and. Um, with with our quarterback situation, we might have to run the ball more, but we don't we don't know. I mean, Brent, Brent's a pretty good guy. He's a good quarterback. He's young, but he has an amazing arm. And uh, we're just gonna see how how the ball rolls.